Sound good? Yeah. We're on the set. Action. What does it mean to be a taxi driver? Well, I could easily answer by asking, what does a taxi driver mean to you? Just the back of my head? You don't hear the exhaustion in my voice or the poverty in my dress. In the end, all that matters is this. Red numbers on a black box. I got used to the world passing me by like pedestrians at a crosswalk. With all the crowds of the city around me, it's hard to believe someone can still feel so alone. And then something strange happens. You let your guards down. You take your masks off. Hello, Sophie. Si. No, I can't go to this of Lely. No, I can't go to the station of Lely. No, I have a lot of work. No, I'm super occupied. No, don't put it on the phone, por favor, no. No, 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 por favor. Your sins and secrets spill out of you like blood and wine, mixing with the canniness of your fears, the clarity of your longing. Is this you all right? Just this time, OK? I'm oh, sorry, I'm not going to take a fare without a destination. Just go, just go. cab becomes your confessional, and behind a screen of anonymity, I hear your confessions. Honey? Um, yes. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't come to your play tonight. Uh, yeah, of course Daddy loves you. Yeah, but sometimes things happen, and you can't control it sometimes. Sorry, Ellie. I'm sorry. I have to go right now. I love you. Daddy loves you. See you soon. All the lies you tell the world fade from you like smoke in a windowed room. I pray for you. Hey, Daddy! And sometimes... Yeah, of course. I will be there tonight. I judge you. I will miss this party for anything. That's way too much money. Do I look like I need change? the first time you're going to ask me. I do mind, actually. Ah. And who was that? Was that your boyfriend? You know, most cabbies consider silence a virtue. 
Most fares don't beg me to run red lights to get to the corner of no and where. <laughs> but I bet most fares want a silent cab ride. Sometimes. But you'd be surprised how obvious some things are to a cab you know where to look. Like those bruises. All right. Hit me. Poor choice of words. You're young. That's it? Too young to be able to support yourself. The way you dress. But you throw money around like nothing. Probably because it's not yours. Your boyfriend's maybe? And that would be the gentleman we encountered earlier? Well, you know Philip Marlowe. And that would be the gentleman who's uh, following us right now in the silver hatchback. What? I'm willing to guess you live with said gentleman, who uh, spoils you with pretty clothes and petty cash, and thinks that's permission to use your face as a stress ball. Will you just leave this, okay? The road is empty, just drive! That sounds like a familiar tune. Ah, the refrain. Not terribly catchy, though. Well, just, just tell me what you think of the chorus. So I hope you don't mind me saying, we still have time to get to your daughter's play. What? Ellie's play, right? You should go. You were listening all this time? Who the hell you think you are? Children grow up, you know. Things won't always be so simple. There'll be other parties. Mind your own business. You should fasten your seatbelt. So where were we? Keep your eyes on the road for Christ's sake. Now if you could go back to your parents for help, you would have given me an address by now. So they kicked you out? No. No, you ran away. You fleeing an abusive father maybe? straight into the arms of our tenacious pursuer. But you're gonna go back to him, aren't you? Of course you are. Even though you're trying so hard to get away right now, you're going back. Maybe you think you have no choice. Or maybe it's a bit too much like your father, dishing out the punishment you think you deserve. Maybe you think you love him. Maybe you love being hurt. Was I close? My father never laid a hand on me in his life. Oh? Well, then there's no reason not to go back to him. You have no idea, so don't pretend to understand. My father and I... Some things are justified, but some things are un unforgivable. Some, some people are unforgivable. Even if I could go back. Are you talking about you or your father? Both. Mind your own business. Fathers never lose their love for their daughters. Your father loved you, and still loves you, I'm sure. What happened between you is a wound long scabbed over. 
Count yourself lucky. Some hurts go too deep to ever heal. I wish to God I could have had your father's disciplined love. Anger could be righteous, Emily, but never violence. Your father loves you as I've loved my Nicole. But he deserves to see you again. Not like me. You all right, miss? people into making the decisions you're too cowardly to make? Making them believe that you have some kind of insight when the only reason you can read them is because you're one of them. One of us. You speak about comfortable misery and of being too scared to be saved, but you sit in this cab, lost and afraid without the balls to even admit that. guard down. I took my mask off. All the lies I told the world evaporated. I shared a moment with a stranger, and for that one moment, I forgot the drowning loneliness. But when we swim the tides of heartache, Sometimes all we could do is reach out to a stranger and try and hold on, hoping we float. And maybe in desolate desperation, we can save each other. Right now, so leave a message and I'll get right back.